Okay. I remember the worst scenario that I heard of in, in, in this particular issue. A brother and his excuse that he was a revert brother, although he been Muslim for some time, but yani, that was his excuse. He asked me the following question. He said that he divorced his wife because they agreed that they cannot continue, it's not working. And then he said, because I have a child from her, I was looking for a good husband for her. Because the husband will be, will look after my child or she will be living with my child with him. So he was looking for a man to marry his ex-wife. He found a good brother, mashallah. Okay. Then he acted as the wali of his ex-wife. Not only that, not only that, but he agreed that the new husband or the new brother will marry her and he got married to her after less than a month from the divorce. So I said to him, so she got married to him within a month? He said, yeah. But he said that was not the problem. I said, what else? Is there any other bigger problem than this? He said, no, I'm talking to you because my heart was broken and I don't know what to do. I said, what? He said, because she was living in my house, the brother who proposed to her came to my house and I was her wali. So we have done the nikah in my house. I said, interesting. <laughs> we have a mithal, a saying in Arabic, عش رجبا ترى عجبا. If you live until the month of Rajab, you will see so many amazing things. <laughs> I said, okay. He said, after we conducted the marriage, this brother took her and said to her that you are my wife. This is in my house. So he took permission from me to go to another room to sleep with his new wife. And he slept with my ex-wife in my house. I said, very interesting, mashallah. <laughs> we laugh, but we should cry for these incidents that we see in our community. All of this, my dear respected brothers and sisters, is because of what? Ignorance. We don't study our deen, and then we put ourselves into so many problems. I told you, I don't know whether I told you previously about that sister who, uh, her husband took her during the Idda period, or she slept with the husband during the Idda period, and she became pregnant and then she got married to another man because her husband, her father refused or did not allow her to go back to her husband whom she slept with him. So many problems are happening because we don't have enough information about the basics of our deen. And that's why the scholar said, talab ilm might be wajib. Seeking knowledge might be wajib, obligatory. If that knowledge is needed to correct your actions. So if you are about to divorce or you want to get married, then learn the basics before you put yourself into big problems. Okay, so during the Idda period, please, brothers and sisters, pass this information.